Okay, so the first card is um, you're in a very emotionally charged situation at the moment. So try not to lose your temper. So you've been needing to defend yourself in whatever's been going on, uh, but try not to lose your temper. And um, on the sidelines, it says make a will and plan for the future. So you need to make some plans for the future as well. But whatever situation you're dealing with at the moment, try not to lose your temper and you are having to defend yourself but do it in a very calm way and make some uh, future plans and you might need to review your will or um, you know make a will um, for the future so in the past you've got happiness and satisfaction so you've been happy in whatever job you've been doing and very satisfied at the outcome and you've been thinking very big making some really big plans about uh, the future so going into the future, you've got to express your creativity. Um, and there looks like there's some kind of insurance payout that is coming in for you as well. So mo some money coming in. But uh, for right now, if you're uh, dealing with uh, uh, an emotionally charged situation, make sure that you are calm. Okay, so you've got the Seven of Swords. So you are dealing with a very difficult situation. You might be dealing with people who are very aggressive, who are not listening to you, who are do th doing things behind your back. You've got the Seven of Swords over here. Uh, so, you know, you might be thinking of just packing up and leaving that situation, walking away from it, taking all your ideas and whatever you've got to say and moving on because, you know, you're dealing with very uh, difficult people. You've got wolves over here. And, you know, they seem to block, be blocking your progress or blocking whatever you're trying to say. Maybe they're not even listening to you because you've got the sword lying in the snow here. So, you know, um, it's making you very unhappy. Uh, it's putting you on edge. And it seems like, you know, you want to just pack up and leave because you're having a problem dealing with a difficult situation. So what's happening with this uh, around you? You've got the sun card over here. So everything will sort itself out. Um, you know, with the sun card, even though you go through difficulties, it, you, you usually come out being very successful. But you're working very, very hard. You can see this woman with a spinning wheel over there. Uh, you know, so you're putting in long hours into this job, but there will be success. It's definitely going to be very successful. Uh, and, um, you know, you're going to get um, a lot of rewards from it as well. There might be some travel involved in this job. You might be planning on going overseas as well. But definitely success coming in with this particular job and a lot of money. You've got the Queen of Pentacles over here. And so this is success financially within this particular job. It's also a very leadership position, taking control, being in charge, organizing, being very practical. And that is uh, the capacity in which you are working at this particular moment. And maybe this is why you're having to put in very, very um, many hours you know, it's like a sun up to sun down job. So you're working and you're working beyond even those times. So working beyond normal work times, but you will be successful in it. So in the past year, you've had the wheel of fortune come in. So you've had a change, whatever you were doing uh, changed and maybe you moved on to something else or you changed jobs or you even uh, traveled as well with this wheel of fortune. So in the past few months, you've got the Nine of Cups. So everything you've been working for has been working out pretty well and you're pretty satisfied. Uh, this was a wish fulfillment. So something came true or something happened uh, that you were wishing for or hoping that would happen. And it seems like, uh, you know, you got, you got what you wanted. So you have been going in the right direction. Now, what's in your mind? You are worried a bit about finances. You've got the Four of Pentacles over here. You are trying to hang on to your money and save as much as possible. Uh, you know, you're you're watching your money very carefully and it is on your mind and you are pretty worried. You're trying to lay down stable foundations as well. So you are trying to save some money and lay down foundations and you are watching it very, very carefully. So what's going into the future, you've got the Hierophant of here, and this is getting advice, really, uh, that is going to be very constructive for you. You might be somebody that's teaching, but this is also, um, you know, getting some sound advice. So this might be getting some sound financial advice in order for you to sort out problems. Uh, you know, there might be, um, you might need to do some research as well uh, and find out exactly what is going on. Uh, before you make any kind of big decisions. And this is getting expert advice uh, in handling a situation. 
So what's going on with you? You feel that you're uh, at a bit of a standstill at the moment. Things are not moving for you. You feel, feel like you're in between the light and the dark, it seems. Uh, you know, you you are pretty much bound by this work and you really haven't made future plans or you haven't uh, decided how you're going to get into that future, really. So things are pretty much uh, stuck and you do feel like you're making a lot of sacrifices for this work as well. So you're putting a lot of effort into it. Uh, but you see hands and feet are tied over here and you've got a veil over your face. So a lot of information not being revealed to you, not seeing all uh, the facts or something is being hidden from you as well. And you need that missing piece of information in order for you to move forward. So you are waiting for something to come in. And, uh, you know, you are probably feeling a little bit frustrated as well because everything seems like it's not moving. Now, whatever you're doing around you, there seems to be a lot of demands on you. You seem to be handling a lot of projects as well. And you're very defensive as well about this. So this is a very, a card of being in defense. You know, you're, you're fighting a lot of battles or trying to get a lot of things done. Um, you know, this is a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities rather, uh, with this nine of wands. So it seems like you're handling a lot of things at this particular moment and you're trying to sort them out um, but you know there's a lot of demands on you as well and you're having to stand up and, and defend yourself now you've got the page of pentacles there might be some kind of uh, official information that you're waiting for or uh, some kind of legal information that you're waiting for as well uh, or legal news uh, official news with this page of swords also i think you're worried about the people around you are a bit sneaky and are doing things behind your back so you are a bit um worried that you know there are people that are not looking out for your best interests people sneaking around carrying tales that kind of thing going on with the page of swords uh, but also the page of swords talking about something official coming in and that's what you're waiting for So going to the future, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Fool card, and the Tower. And the Nine of Pentacles is being uh, getting recognition for a job well done. It's being very financially independent and managing to build up on strong foundations, being very self-sufficient, uh, uh, you know, self-made, and being very independent. So you are working very hard and very focused on your money, and you are going to be getting that recognition that you need. You are laying down quite solid foundations, and people are beginning to recognize you as somebody who is a hard worker and someone who can get that job done and get it done really well with this Nine of Pentacles. The Fool card is talking about starting something brand new, so maybe you're thinking of um, starting uh, uh, something new, a new project, or launching out in a new direction. So you want to take a leap of faith and start something or do something different. Um, you know, that's on your mind. You are making these plans to do that. And you're all enthusiastic to do something very different. Now, with the Tower card coming in, something uh, big coming in for you. So a big revelation. Watch out for any kind of, um, you know, arguments or um, an upset in the energies because you can see you know um, here you have people um, uh, being almost victimized by this man or being bullied by somebody so there might be somebody around you that is causing a lot of chaos or disturbance or drama uh, and uh, you know um, trying to undo the things that you did. So there's somebody around you that is uh, very problematic and they might cause, stir up a lot of problems for you. So this could be that emotionally charged situation that you're dealing with and you need to, um, whatever the energy that comes in usually shifts you out of being stuck. Generally, um, when the hangman card appears and you're feeling stuck in a situation, there's usually something, a drama that comes in with the tower. The tower brings it in to shift that energies into something. It clears the way so that you, you know, it opens the road, if you like, takes away or any kind of obstruction so that you can move forward. So the tower card is not necessarily a bad thing. It is usually a, a piece of information or some kind of action that somebody does uh, that clears out the way and um, allows you to move forward. So this could be something coming in and you are planning on doing something different. You want to do something different. You are feeling very stuck uh, with this full card. You see he's going from the light of, you know, from the sun, which is like working really hard because the first card that fell was the sun card, uh, working hard into the new moon. So, you, you know, you do want to jump into something brand new and it looks like this tower card is going to enable that. It's going to be something that comes and shifts things, um, you know, brings about a big change 
This is a big drama, a big change that coming that comes along to shift you out of energies of being stagnant. It's almost as though the towel comes to push the fool over the edge. Push the fool from being, you know, um, stuck in a situation into something brand new. So this tower energy is going to come and shake up a lot of uh, things. Now you are working hard. Um, make sure that you are getting some advice and some expert advice in how to handle things. Uh, you know, uh, maybe you, somebody around you is being a, a bit of a bully and telling you what to do and you're having to listen to them uh, and you're not too happy about that. Uh, and maybe this is going to culminate in some kind of... Um, you know, where you have to confront that person. So maybe a confrontation coming up between you and the person that who is um, bullying you around a little bit. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Think and Grow Rich um, Prosperity Cards. <laughs> I was going to say tarot, but it's Prosperity Cards. So this is for inspiration, rather. And the fairy oracle is for the oracle bead. So the first card is a goal. So make sure that you are setting goals. Have a, a definite plan in place. And the second card is simplicity. So they always say, keep it simple, stupid. So make sure that you're keeping things very simple. So set simple goals, simple things that you can attain. Don't go uh, above and beyond uh, you know, don't, don't be unrealistic in the goals that you set. Keep everything simple, and that is how you progress. And refuse poverty. So make sure you don't have a poverty mindset. You have this uh, thing of the Four of Pentacles where you're feeling like you're in lack, but, you know, you aren't really in lack because you've got the Nine of Pentacles over here. So there is finances for you. There is abundance. Uh, so try not to have that mindset of uh, lack, uh, so refuse poverty, say that you are not poor and, you know, that if you think positively and you affirm positive things, then that will come to pass. So the first card is uh, the ego, uh, which is um, akin to the, uh, the devil in the tarot. It's the illusion of being trapped or placing too much of importance on material items, being caught up in fear and worry. So, you know, the devil is, um, you know, somebody around you that's bullying you or bossing you or you're feeling tied up by them or you're feeling intimidated by them. So you need to let go of that kind of feeling that they have control over you because nobody has control over you. Only you control yourself. So make sure that you're not feeling as though that person is the one that is... Um, you know, trying to manipulate you. Maybe there is somebody trying to manipulate you. There's a lot of psychic vi vampires out there that try and take energy from people by bullying them. So, you know, try and get rid of that energy. Try and move away from it if that person is, is a psychic vampire and they're trying to bully you out of your energy. You are not caught up by them. And, and stop worrying and stop having... A, don't, don't be afraid. Act with confidence. Um, and that is the way that, you know, you can tell a bully to get lost, really. Um, the three of spring is uh, plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are some good things to come and satisfaction for a job well done. And I think that says it all. You do need to have plans in place. Make sure that they are realistic plans. Set some goals as well for the future. And, you know, your job is going to, whatever you're doing is going to be very, very successful because this card speaks about the three of spring. And that is putting out projects that return, uh, you know, with abundance. So uh, this is, it's like the three of rods. So, you know, whatever plans you put out will come back um, a hundredfold, you know, being very successful. And the last card is the king of summer, which says, uh, this is a partner you can trust and excellent advice that comes from a heart and getting involved in cultural or creative endeavors. So with the king of summer, um, you know, I did speak about getting some expert advice. There is somebody that's very expert at what they're doing doing or around you, and that's somebody that you can ask for some advice from. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good advice that you should follow. And, um, you know, you can trust this particular advice. It's not going to be detrimental to you. So a need to get some advice, keep things simple, set some goals, um, and just watch out. Try not to lose your temper in a in a very difficult situation because it looks like the tower energy is coming in. Um, and, you know, you need to just keep it calm, keep it cool. 
uh, to sort out that particular situation and it will resolve itself. So there is some success coming in with the Sun card as being the first card uh, that's fallen. And so that means that all your hard work is going to pay out and there is going to be some achievement there as well.